Nessa Sunshine here, and today I'm getting into the ABH Palette Vault Holiday Collection set. I don't exactly know what it is called. Um, Holiday Palette Vault. <laughs> so I'm gonna do uh, this look on my eyes, and if you're interested in seeing uh, this vault being used with the Sultry Palette, well, subscribe to my channel and let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> In the Sultry palette, the first shadow I will be using is Bloom, and I'll also be using a Nabla N207 Gem Brush. With Bloom and my big fluffy brush, I'm moving in circular motions, inward circular motions with the tip of the brush, and on the outer corner, in the crease, above the crease a little bit on the brow bone, I'm kind of swiping up now instead of using circular motions, swiping up a little bit onto the outer corner of the brow bone. I'm taking a little bit more onto the outer corner of brow bone over toward the edge of my brow. And I'm using only swiper motions now and I'm going to swipe in toward the center of the eye. So I'm taking a little bit more of bloom on this edge of my brow bone and I'm taking the side and tip of my big fluffy brush and moving in swiper motions outward. And I'm moving forward onto the lid a little bit and I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. The next shadow I will be getting into is Dystopian, and I will be using two Nabla gem brushes, the N306 and the N305 brush. Now I'm going to start tapping it in the outer corner of my eye with the edge of this brush. So I'm getting the color, and then I'm gonna take a little bit more. I started at the base of my lashes patting this, and I'm gonna bring it up in the crease of the outer corner, and now I am patting it up. So that's all I've been doing is just pat, 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 going back and forth and patting. And now I'm going to take the 306 brush, which is much more fluffy, and I'm gonna take the tip and kind of the edge, but mostly the tip of this blending brush, and I'm going from the inner edge with the tip of this blending brush somewhat of the edge I'm using as well. This is much more fluffy, I didn't add anything. And I'm blending out dystopian in this outer corner, all the edges. One thing I like to do if I get a little carried away with the outer corner is take my setting powder and my setting brush, and I like to kind of squish it and blend up. Sometimes I'll use the BH Pro 18 Studio Brush to do this, but right now I think it's in my drawer somewhere. It's not on hand, <laughs> so. I'm gonna just do this, and it will help me clean up the edge, and I'm pinching the brush with some of that powder so that it makes it a bit more defined. I'm using a little bit more pressure with my previous brush, which had the shadow on it, in this outer crease corner area, and I'm swiping. Before I get into Shimmer Shimmer Time, I'm going to add Dystopian to the bottom, but before I do that, I'm going to add some liner. So I'm gonna add the Huda Beauty um, life liner the pencil and with a shade dystopian I will be using the Nabla N204 gem brush. I'm adding some of this pencil liner just to the outer corner. If you'd like you can add liner also in your tight line and then I'm taking dystopian into the outer corner and bringing it forward. Pinching my original brush that I had bloom on and I am blending the bottom part. I've added just a little bit more of dystopian. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. For Shimmer Shimmer Time, I'll be getting into Rose Quartz, and I'll be using the Nabla N205 Gem Brush. What I've done with this brush is swiped it many times all around in Rose Quartz, and I'm going to spray it. And that was the Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Mist. And now I'm going to swipe this in the center of the mobile lid. <gasps> so pretty. And I'm just swiping, holding the brush parallel to the ground and I'm swiping with the edges of this brush. It's a much tinier sort of blending brush. And I'm swiping, 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 and whatever is left, I'm kind of bringing it into the inner corner. I'm changing the brush the way I'm holding it and using the tip. And I'm gonna swipe over the crease in my eyelid, kind of meeting bloom to the outer edge a little bit. So now I'll go ahead and add glow co go cocoa. <laughs> Thinking about the spray, I'm gonna add rose quartz and spray a bunch of times with my mist as well. And you don't have to spray if you don't want to, but if you want to, go ahead and spray. You'll get more of a pop with your shimmer. And then we'll get into the next shimmer shade. 
For the inner corner, I'll be using the shade Pearl, and I'll also be using another Nabla gem brush in the number N210. I've also sprayed Pearl with the Glow Coco, the Huda Beauty Mist, and I'm going to take this into my inner corner and move it up. I'm going to take a little bit more from the palette, tap off the excess. My brush is still kind of wet since it is a really tiny brush, and I'm taking it right into this lower part of my lash line, and I'm bringing it kind of a third of the way in. The Holiday Palette Vault also comes with eye primer, which I didn't use today. I like to use that particular eye primer for cut creases, but since I didn't do a cut crease, I didn't use it. Um, but I love that primer for cut creases. It also comes with the liner. So this is the ABH Liquid Liner, and I love this liner. It's so matte so dark. I love it. It's really, really nice. This is probably one of the best liners. This one, the Huda Beauty Liner and the Balm Schwing Liner. That one's a great one. And um, an easy one to use is the ColourPop Liner, but it's a little bit more shiny. Um, but I really like how like black and blah, black and matte this liner, the Huda Beauty, the Balm liners are. They all have that, that really nice deep look to them. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply <laughs> the liner. Starting in the outer corner of my eye, and I'm gonna make kind of a thick, but still thin kind of line over in the edge, bringing out the liner. And then I'm going to switch the brush and I'm going to pay attention to my crease. And then I have the line. And I have to look a little closer into my mirror. And I'm going to flatten out this little curve, like this dip that happens. I like to kind of make it a little straighter. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So it's just giving a little definition, not too much. And I think I'm also going to add, when I do liner over an eyeshadow style like this, where I've added a darker shade to the outer corner, but I notice once I've added the liner, there's a little bit of lightness in between the like darkest part of the outer corner and then the outer outer corner where the liner meets. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it any better. It's just a little bit light right in here and I don't want that. I'm gonna go ahead and take the N305 brush and the shade Noir, which is the black shade. I've dipped it in twice. I'm going to pinch the brush and right above the liner, I'm going to just tap this right above that edge and then kind of blend it in short, like the shortest swiper motions, kind of like taps almost. And then I'm going to blend a little bit more with the very tip. These are like tap swipes. Okay. Yeah, like so. And then I think I'm gonna take my big blending brush on the outer edge, and I'm sort of going like this to sort of flatten it. I'm not flattening it too much but I'm going to take this blending brush on this outer edge just to blend out this area. And then I'm gonna take my finger there. I just want everything to be a little bit smoother and diffuse. There we go. Now I'll be using the uh, mascara, which is the ABH Lash Rack. This is one of my top five favorite mascaras. I like that it's flexible after it dries, meaning like, most mascaras, I have a hard time after I've applied it a few times or even just once and let it like sort of dry a bit um, when I want to curl my lashes again because most mascaras weigh down my lashes unless they're waterproof. So I want to go ahead and curl again. But with most mascaras, um, like the way that they've been making mascaras lately, I've noticed they're adding like fibers and stuff. So those fibers clump up together and then everything gets ruined or just the way that mascara formula is, it's a little bit more voluminous and it clumps all together. Um, this is so flexible. I feel like it does a really great job at um, being curled after. Now, I think I've noticed some like flaking 
but that's about it. Really, really love this mascara, and it can be definitely worn alone. It really does a great job at um, making your lashes really long and voluminous and really pretty, and I love, again, that you can curl it after. I would, if I were to wear this alone, I'd probably put another coat, and I'd take a lot more time in like rolling the lash wand through my lashes. I'm just gonna be popping on some lashes, so I don't wanna put too much mascara, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And for the makeup miracle moment, I'm going to be popping on the Bright Lashes. Angela Bright is an amazing makeup artist on here on YouTube. She has many tutorials and on Instagram as well, beautiful eye looks. So she has come out with some lashes. These are the Style 24, if I haven't said that already. And I'm gonna pop these on in a makeup miracle moment. Oh, voila, a makeup miracle moment has occurred. So I have the bright lashes on my lashes <laughs> and I have the lip. So for today's lip, I have the Dose of Colors on repeat lip liner. And above that, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Velvet Lipstick. So that completes today's look using the Holiday Palette Vault from ABH, which is so pretty. I absolutely love this pink sparkling box. Um, Sultry is one of my favorite ABH palettes. I really enjoyed this Holiday Palette Vault. I think it's a great gift idea if you're looking for a gift. These are the tones that are in this year, even though there's not much to do. Um, these soft, soft neutrals and sort of um, cool tones as well. And yeah, these are really, really pretty colors. I love this palette, it's so beautiful. So uh, this is a very cute and their mascara and liner are amazing. And if you're into cut creases, the uh, primer is awesome as well. So, I mean, this is a great gift idea if you're looking to give someone a makeup gift. And I think I'll probably do a fall favorites video next with the Raw Beauty Christie palette because that's definitely one of my favorite palettes for fall. I thought that was the best collaboration ever. So I'm really, really excited. I know a lot of people were wanting more looks with that palette. So I'll do that and I'll also share some of my favorites from this fall. I'll probably do a full face video. And then I want to ask which of these these two palettes would you like to see next after that? I really like this Huda Beauty Naughty palette. I think it's really, really pretty. When I first saw it, it wasn't something that caught my eye, but the looks you can create with this palette are really beautiful, really sultry, really like um, a burgundy, warm, gorgeous. They can be more golden as well, not just burgundy, but this palette is really, really pretty. I really like Huda Beauty a lot. Also, the uh, Naughty palette. Are they both naughty? <laughs> So which Naughty palette do you want? Do you want the Huda Beauty one first or do you want to see this one which is really colorful. I love BH palettes as well and this is the Hoho Holidays Naughty 30 color eyeshadow palette which I have as well. So let me know which one you want first. I might just do both. If you like this video make sure to like it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye now.